Hello, viewers and subscribers. Techhub is back here again, and I'm back with a video on working with shared preferences. Um, so if you don't, if you know head of shared preferences, shared preferences is more like database that allows you to store data locally in your application. So this is a simple. What what I have here now is a simple login page. All the login. But it doesn't do any performing action. What we're interested in is the checkbox here, which says remember username and password. So I have my edit text username, edit text password, checkbox, remember username and password, and the button. Okay, so you guys should ignore this little one here. It's I don't know why I've tried syncing the project, but then still. Okay, so this is my layout activity. So in my main activity, where the brains behind, where the brains are, yeah. Uh, my um, initialized variables. Okay, I declare variables, edit text, checkbox, share preference, check preferences. This is what we are going to use for saving it. And the share preference editor right here the share preference name and the keys so these are the keys so this activity um, implements the text watcher and uh, on check change listener make sure uh, on check change listener you use um use the use the one for which is it for the checkbox there, there are two there are two on check change listeners there's one for radio button and one for checkbox. Make sure you use the one for checkbox. Yeah. Okay, so in my own quiz, I initialize the shared preferences. So I give the shared preference a shared preference name. That's the preference name right here. And I give it the private mode. That means only this application can access it. No other application can access it. Just this application. Right. So I also initialize my editor which is shared preferences or edits. This is what I'm going to use to save the files, to save the data into the shared preferences. Um, I initialize my username and password and also my checkbox by giving them the IDs right here. So um, let's get to the actual code. Okay, we are seeing the actual code, but then, yeah. So I'm going to add a text chain listener to the username and the password and also and also a check change listener to the checkbox so um since i implemented this in the activity you can see the methods here all these methods are what are from the implementation of the text watcher and the on check change listener so on check change listener and uh, allows me to override three methods the before text change, on text change, and after check text change. So on text change, I call the method manage preferences, and this is what the manage preferences does. So in the manage preferences, I check whether um, the checkbox is checked. If the checkbox is checked, then I save the username right here into this key, the password into this key. And also I save the boolean value that means it's checked so I save it to be true so that's here so put string put string since there are string values and put boolean since it's a boolean value and then I apply so using the apply actually saves it into the shared preference if you, you you can call all these methods but then if you don't call the apply method it doesn't work so if it's checked just do all this if it's not checked just um, remove the key values remove the values from the keys so I remove the key password and the username and also I set the member value to false and I save it right here so um, I call manage preferences in two in two methods I called it on the check chain listener and also on the text chain listener so um when the user checks the checkbox it calls the money preferences so it saves it 
if you uncheck it here it's it moves it from the shared preferences and the same happens for the text change so when a user types into the edit text and the uh, checkbox already checked it saves it into the shared preference if the checkbox is not checked it doesn't it removes it from the shared preferences so we come back here so i so right here I check if shared preference or get boolean remember is is true um, I'll explain this nice to you very well so right here I'm getting the boolean since I saved the boolean value since the key remember is a boolean value I need to retrieve it from the uh, shared preferences but uh, the reason why you're seeing false is, false here is that this is the default value in case there's no value in the key so if key member has no default has no value it's going to return false that's it so i check if this is true um set the checkbox to be true so like make the checkbox checked else do not check the checkbox you can see how it's going to work and then right here i just set the text to um share preference or get string key username and this empty string here so this also means that if there is no username just return an empty string that's the mean of this just return an empty string you don't need to in order not for the in order for the program to not crash you need to return an empty string right so i do the same thing for password as well and that is all for the code very simple actually so i'm not going to run it for you guys to understand how it actually works okay so this is the application now um i have my username and password and the text and also the checkbox so i'm going to make username tech hobbyist and i'm going to make password tech hobbyist okay so the reason why i seen the password is because i didn't use the i didn't use the um input type password so you can see the password so if i check this thing it's going to save to the shared preference so I can now exit my application. When I get back to my application, I see that you can see that it has been saved. And also, what I can do is this since now it's already checked. So, the first part was for the um, on check change listener that's for the checkbox. So, now I'm going to do the um, text watcher implementation. So Anytime I type, it saves it to the edit. It saves it to the shared preferences. Um, hello. So when I exit my program, get back, you can see the same thing. So that's all for this tutorial, guys. Um, hope you liked it. Hope you understood what I explained to you guys, and make sure to subscribe. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.